Boy, the uh, bacon's starting to really get going there. And one of the things I did here, I chunked up a bunch of that pork. I could only get about a third of it in there, but I got the pork in here boiling. Get that cooked down, and then I'll pull it apart. And I got some beans going back here, too, because I'm going to do pork and beans as well as doing pulled pork and barbecue pork. <laughs> All right, so we got the pork is done cook, cooking, so I'm going to strain out the liquid. And like I said, some of this is going to go into the beans and some of this is going to go into some pulled pork, pork barbecue. That is the bacon that just came out of the canner. That is my chicken broth bubbling and popping. I've never seen anything I can do it like that, but those are small little jars that we're in with the bigger jars. Half pints with some pints, so I, it might have got too hot, but it looks really cool. My sweet pea out there getting some peaches. I am working on some more of the pork because last night, um, a couple of the jars that I made barbecue pork in actually blew in the canner, so I lost a couple cans of meat, so I'm going to do that. And then we had a fella stop by selling meat, and we wound up buying 
jeez, three hundred more dollars worth of meat on top of all this and the um, not the Texas Toast, but all this other meat down here in the cooler that I'm trying to process. I've got some apples dehydrating right now. There's one basket of peaches off our tree. So I got peaches and apples. I'm gonna be dehydrating and canning. Let's see how sweetie pie's doing. Boy, I sure do wish I had smell a vision. You could smell these beans. Oh, whole house is smelling glorious.